A tree crashing into a home in Sacktown. Yeah. You can hear that woman screaming there in the background. This happened on Sunday, and it's just scary. It's also just another reminder of just how powerful this deadly system has been rocking the West Coast. At least three people in Northern California have been killed by falling trees. The deaths have come from the northern part of the state, where powerful winds have been the primary threat. And we have seen hurricane force winds continue to be reported here. Matter of fact, we've gotten gusts anywhere between 100 to 100. 150 miles per hour on some of these mountaintops here. So this is part of the reason why it's important that you have multiple ways of getting some of these alerts as they continue to come in. And you can notice right there, we still have flash flood warnings in effect for L.A. County. And then as we get into uh, places like Barstow as well as Palm Springs, we have flash watches that are still in effect. And we also have this even extending into the Phoenix area here as well. So even though a lot of attention has been placed on California, today the shift is now going to be towards the Arizona area because notice how places like Prescott, Phoenix, as well as the Tucson area, all could possibly end up seeing either flash flooding or the threat just for some additional flooding here. And let's just put this into perspective here. So when we talk about gallons of water here since September the 1st, it's an interesting equation that pops up here. So what we do is we stay, we take the statewide average rain and then we do the gallons per inch per square foot and then we also take into account how large the state is and when we multiply each of those that's how we end up getting that number that we've been talking about with trillions take a look this is how many trillions of water has fallen here in terms of gallons, nine trillion gallons here. So that's the reason why we've been seeing a lot of these landslides that have been popping up here. And take a look at some of these uh, rain totals here, 7.64 inches of rain just to the south and west of L.A. And look at this, 12 inches of rain has fallen over there. Over in the Long Beach area, they've gotten anywhere from four to five inches of rain. And in inland spots, we also have anywhere from eight to 12 inches of rain that's already fallen and the threat still is not over yet.